So today we're taking a look at my Matthew Palmer Gold Brush Watercolour Set. First of all, it comes in a nice brush wallet, which has got a few interesting features because it actually has got this nice flap which protects the hairs of the brush, which is quite important. But if you fold this back, we can actually Velcro the two sides and it doubles up as a nice brush stand as well. This set contains five gold watercolour brushes and gold basically means it's a slightly higher quality so what you're getting is a mixture of synthetic and sable hair. These are my brushes of choice. I use them every day for commissions, workshop, holidays, etc. Let's go through the brushes. We've got the gold size 20 brush. This is probably the brush I use more than anything for doing large washes and skies and anything that involves big areas. If I just show you the brush in action, it's got a lovely point on the tip. And if I just dampen a little area of the paper, the watercolour paper there, just to show you how effective this brush actually works. It's not just for painting skies, like say for any large areas, but if I get some natural blue and just brush that in, it's got a lovely forward and backward motion to the brush. And of course the paper is super absorbent. And with having a nice tip, you can actually go from a solid line, a broad line, to a very thin point, so you can actually get an amazing amount of detail from the actual brush itself. The next brush is the size 10, so it's half the size. So if we're doing more smaller areas, smaller skies, rivers, buildings, that kind of thing, again, got a lovely point on the tip, so you can do a lot of detail, even as far as tree branches. The flat brush is an amazing little brush because not only is it good for painting things like roofs on buildings and barns and that kind of thing, but it's also good for washing out as well, which is quite nice. So if we do something like this, for example, you can almost see you've actually painted a little kind of terracotta roof on a building, on a barn, within a few seconds. And of course, the brush stroke for that one is a very nice angled effect. Nice for reflections as well. You can drag the brush down, creating this reflection effect in water. We then go for the smaller brushes, we've got the size 6. This for me is a workhorse. It's the brush you'd use all the time for doing all the sorts of tasks. Just for doing detailed areas, detailed brush strokes, right down to tree branches. Getting that nice flick away. And the brush I'd probably use more than any. And of course, no brush set's complete without a rigger or a detailer, and of course, perfect for fence posts, but very precise for those nice fine lines. Ideal for painting the nice branches on a tree. And really, it's every brush you need for general watercolour painting.